In this video, I'm going to compare Dread 1995 as well as 2012. Both films are adaptations of this series of comic books or maybe a graphic novel. I'm going to be comparing those to A Dog's Purpose and Dog's Journey, which are both movies where you have this dog that can actually talk. We hear the dog's voice. First of all, when you look at the highest Rotten Tomatoes score for each franchise, in the case of Dog's Purpose, both movies actually are rotten on Rotten Tomatoes. I don't personally agree with that. I like both movies, but it seems to me like critics don't really like as much sentimental dog movies. They find them, quote-unquote, emotionally manipulative. I don't get where that's coming from personally i don't have a problem with movies trying to draw emotions out of you the highest score is actually only a 53 percent for a dog's journey yikes not good in the case of dread the 2012 movie actually has an 80 percent of rotten tomatoes which is a really good score dread wins this round then when you look at lowest score for each franchise in the case of dread actually that 1995 movie only has a 22 percent then when you look at the original dog's purpose it only has a 34 percent but that's higher than 22 percent so dog's purpose actually does win this round but then when you look at the average score with dread you have an average of 51 whereas with dog's purpose you only has you only have an average of 43 dread wins this round then when you look at disparity between lowest and highest score disparity is bigger for dread because you have a gap of 68 between 22 and 80 whereas if a dog's purpose dog's journey you only have a gap of 19 which actually means that dog's purpose and dread are tied going into the final round so this is going to be determined based on my personal opinion which franchise do i prefer over the other and this is an interesting one for me because well these two sets of movies are clearly very different from each other i mean one of them dread is in the vein of robocop it has a similar feel vibe to it with a shady corporation a city that's not at all in a good state and this one hero that's trying to stop crime judge dread and robocop it's clearly intended for adults not for kids it's more serious more mature whereas your dog's purpose dog's journey these are light-hearted entertaining family dog movies about a talking dog that are sentimental that make you feel good while also having sad moments in there so the tone of these two sets of movies is very different from each other they're intended for different audiences they're not at all going for the same thing frankly i enjoy both of these sets of movies honestly so on a quality level it, it's not easy for me to decide which one i like better because really i like them both but for different reasons i actually remember seeing a dog's journey in theaters with my parents as a matter of fact that was a good experience i think at the end of the day because the dread movies feel more like other movies i've seen before i think i have to give it to dog's purpose dog's journey i like this idea they have a dog that once it dies it comes back as a different dog so this dog bailey he'll die and then come back to earth reincarnated as a different dog i think that's interesting there are other movies obviously about talking animals i mean you have a dog's way home for example or you have beverly hills chihuahua other movies like that that are similar in this regard but they don't deal with this same idea about a dog coming back as a different dog a different breed in some cases different sex like bailey is originally a male dog but there's one point in these two movies for example where he comes back as a female dog and i think that's pretty interesting i really like both the dread movies obviously when you look at the details no they're not identical to robocop there are certainly differences there but you get a saint the similar feel the vibe and tone feel like it's in the same ballpark as robocop but i like both these sets of movies i remember actually 
I watched the Dread movies because I was thinking, okay, I want to watch different you know, movies that are based on a comic book or graphic novel. I want to branch out and not just watch you know the biggest most obvious and mainstream stuff like mcu dceu x-men batman spider-man that kind of thing these are the ones you immediately think about i was wanting to branch outside of that so i ended up watching actually some movies that are outside of what i would normally watch or be interested in but i ended up think they're really good sin city is a great example of that it's actually not sci-fi it's not sci-fi fantasy or horror it's neo-noir crime anthology and then you got dread which because it's based on comic book or graphic novels in this big umbrella it certainly feels different from other you know movies that are based on a comic book or graphic novel i thought it was interesting but at the end of the day I prefer a dog's purpose and dog's journey there are movies that I'm more likely, honestly, to rewatch because they're just more fun, entertaining, lighthearted, whereas you know, the Dread movies aren't trying to be particularly fun. That'll be it for this video.